Ding ding ding. Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you guys how to solve this system of equations by using the matrix function on TIT4. To do so, you see that the matrix is right here in blue, right? We will first hit second and matrix. And you see, these are the names for the matrices. We will first go to edit. And then let's enter a matrix into matrix A. So we'll just hit enter right here. And as you can see, we have a system of equations here, but then the calculator only understands matrix. Well, we will just have to change this system of equations into a matrix. And to do that, it's pretty simple, because all we have to do is, first, make sure the x's are lined up, the y's are lined up, equal signs are lined up. At the end, you have these two numbers lined up, right? And then we're just going to read out the numbers. So, you see that we'll end up with a 2 by 3 matrix. For the first row, we will have the 4 and the negative 1, because that's a coefficient of y right here, that's negative 1 and then negative 11. And then for the second row, we will have positive 3, positive 5, and positive 9. This is the matrix that we have to enter onto matrix A. Well, it's a 2 by 3 because we have 2 rows and 3 columns. So I just have to put right here 2 by 3. And let's just enter these numbers onto the calculator. 4, negative 1, negative 11, and then for the second row, we will have 3, 5, and then 9. And be sure to use this for negative sign. Alright, so we have a matrix A right here already. And this is how we have to do it. We have to go back home first. So hit second and quit. We have to get back to the home page. And then we are still going to go back to matrix. Second matrix. But this time, we are going to do the math. Go to math. And then we go down to option B, R, R, E, F. This stands for it will tell you the answer, okay? Be sure you choose the option B, R, R, E, F. Not the R, E, F, okay? They look similar, but that R, R, E, F is the one that will tell you the answer. Choose R, R, E, F. And then you see right here we have to enter the matrix that we just put in, right? So we go to second matrix one more time. This time, we just have to enter. So it will put the matrix A into our EF. And then we close the parentheses, and then we hit enter one more time. And you see, this is the result that we have. 1, 0, negative 2, and 0, 1, 3, right? And this is what we get for our EF. 1, 0, negative 2, 0, 1, 3. And this is how we read the answer. Because the first column right here represents the x. This means we have one x. No y is equal to negative 2. That means x is equal to negative 2. And then for the second row, this is the y column. No x, one y, and we have 3. That means y is equal to positive 3. And then there we have it. x is equal to negative 2. y is equal to positive 3 for this system of equation. That's it.